Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, an yet another amazing raw video so that you understand about the industry, how it is probably going on and uh, what on things you should definitely need to focus on. Uh, all these kind of raw videos that I probably create uh, comes from my experience and also from all the people who are specifically working in the industry who are recently making career transition in the field of data analytics, let it be generative AI. Recently, a lot of videos also I've been creating in the generative AI field, let it be with respect to cloud, let it be with respect to different frameworks like Langchain and all, Lama Index and many more, right? So considering this in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the future of tech stack. And uh, one very important point that I really want to put up here is that it definitely includes uh, AI, right? Uh, now AI, it can be data science, machine learning, generative AI, or different different uh, techniques uh, that is uh, that we specifically learn, right? Uh, one important thing that I really want to mention, like, see, everybody has a different M when you're in college, when you're pr probably working as a professional, someone wants to really work in the data analytics industry, someone wants to work as a data analyst, data scientist, machine learning engineer, someone wants to work as a uh, full stack web developer, cloud developer, cloud engineers, uh, DevOps, right? So different, different tech stacks are definitely there. Now, what I see right now, you know, in every of this kind of tech stacks, some or the other way, definitely you can include AI as a skill set over here, right? Uh, and the main aim of including AI skill set is that uh, uh, you actually create a differentiator skill uh, for, uh, in you, right? And this differenti differentiator skill is very much important to probably crack the industry jobs that are right now available, right? Uh, if I talk about a uh, full stack web developer, recently I was talking to some of the students who have made a transition as a full stack developer. They were given tasks that are related to generative AI specifically. They were told to create chatbots with the help of LLM models. They were told to do some amount of fine tuning and all many more things. Now here you can probably see, even though the person is full stack web developer, they're working in front end, back end, you know, they're using different, different uh, uh, JavaScript frameworks, right? Along with that, and obviously if you see most of the web frame, most of the frameworks that are related to LLM models like uh, Langchain, Llama Index, it also includes, uh, they also have included uh, some JavaScript framework over there itself, right? So Considering this, yes, you can also develop in that way. And that is what industry is specifically demanding. They are not saying that, hey, everybody is probably doing full stack uh, web development, but you really need to include this particular skill set. And people who are able to do this, right, this becomes a differentiator skill. Just imagine you're writing those kind of information in your resume. And let's say I am finding out a full stack web developer which has this specific skill set, what value it specifically adds. Not only that, if I talk about every cloud platform where we specifically do deployment, some or the other way AI services are being used uh, to improve the optimization, to improve the performance and many more things. And obviously, when I say optimization, the reduction of cloud cost and all are definitely there. Uh, other thing is that uh, AI definitely helps you to become much more product productive, right? Uh, uh, now it's not time that initially see when I started my career in 2011 I used to probably see books and probably write the code then probably came the internet world stack overflow Google search you were able to get the solution now it's time that you have this amazing all LLM chatbots uh, co like code llama and all which provides you solutions right and all the solutions that are probably available in the industry by that you readily get the solution and you are able to develop uh, solutions very much quickly or any kind of application that you really want to develop. So this definitely is a helpful thing and you should start using that too. And again, at the end of the day, you should be improving the productivity. That is the main aim out there, right? So this is the major thing over there. So uh, again, as discussed, uh, uh, make sure that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a just a request what I see with respect to the trends that are probably going on uh, in the industry, definitely AI is taking over that thing. AI is giving you all those things that is actually required to become a productive engineer altogether. Not only that, it actually helps the company also to reduce the cost with the kind of work that we are specifically doing, right? And obviously recently, lot many CEOs are putting or stressing a lot amount of work and specifically in the field of generative AI, they're investing huge amount of money, they are building some new things that are probably going on, right? Uh, whenever we talk about what is the future, right? This is what the future looks like that, that I can probably predict. And I'm just not saying, just coming from my mind, something like that. I have, I usually have a lot of conversation. Uh, if I probably consider, you have seen initially how machine learning was, how deep learning was. Now you will be seeing how different, different things are evolving. 
ml ops platform llm ops platform at the end of the day you are developing some amazing applications and those applications are able to cater and provide amazing experience to the end user uh, if i probably consider netflix application if i probably consider youtube as an uh, advertising platform itself right what kind of ads is basically been targeted so i feel right ai will probably be the part of each and everything right it will be the part of every uh, technology that i see you know people will keep on working on that people will be keep on seeing that right and uh, with respect to the evolvement part lot many new things are probably coming up as companies are keep on investing a lot of money and you know right uh, open ai ceo has also said that agi is soon very much soon coming up in front of you and definitely after that we definitely have to see that what kind of changes will definitely be happening right and there will be a lot of buzz with respect to this things that will be happening so what i think uh, whether you are a developer whether you are working in infield whether you are an architect i feel and right now in most of the companies whatever app platform you develop whatever web application platform you develop or whatever desktop application uh, you probably develop you will be seeing some or the other ai features definitely integrated in that so that way you are able to understand right and that that kind of features definitely impresses the client end impresses your uh, you know the front end user the end users who are specifically using those kind of app and it provides an amazing experience so at the end of the day yes this was just a kind of a raw video and let me know about this should i be keep on uploading this kind of videos just to give you what is specifically happening in the industry and how things are basically moving so yes this was it from my side i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye bye